Good morning team. Uh, in this video I'm going to do a really quick overview of the OneNote Plus Notebook. Uh, in particular how you can use the collaboration space remotely and importantly how you can use the Class Notebook tools to distribute uh, assessment, lock that assessment and then manage that really quickly uh, using the Review Student Work. So in my setup here on screen on the left hand side I have myself as the teacher Sam McNeil and on the right hand side I have Adele Vance set up as a student inside my notebook. If you're new to OneNote Class Notebooks, uh, a quick introduction, this collaboration space here on the left you can see uh, is a great space where the teacher and any student can read and write and create content together, great for brainstorming uh, in class and remotely. I have a content library which is read only for students but as a teacher I can put my uh, resources in there and students can see them but not edit. You'll notice I have a teacher only section which as it implies is private to me. You can put assessment in there, you can put lesson sequencing, anecdotal student notes and you'll notice it's not showing up on the right hand side. And then lastly, in my very small class, I have three students, Adele, Al, and Maribel. But Adele on the left can only see her section and her content in there. So if I expand out Adele's uh, class notebook, I can see the relevant subsections inside of that, matching exactly what she has over here. So what I want to do really quickly is in the collaboration space, just show you how I can add a new page. I'm going to call it brainstorming. And I'm going to come down here. Uh, and I'm going to give an idea, right? down your ideas for how, how to stay safe during COVID-19. And you'll notice on the right, this brainstorming tab has automatically appeared in the collaboration space uh, for Adele. So she can come in here and go Adele's ideas and she can start listing those off. And you'll notice on the left hand side, it's synchronizing straight away. Wear a mask, um, social distance, wash hands. Okay, so that's a really cool feature that any other student can contribute. And one of the features uh, requests I often get from teachers is how do they know who's contributed? So underneath the view tab in the OneNote class notebook, you'll notice there's a show authors and you'll notice here it now says this was contributed by Adele. As other students start to contribute, then their names will appear next to their content. So the social distancing uh, brainstorming is happening here. If Adele wanted to create her own group and maybe work with others, she could uh, create a new page inside of the collaboration space um, and start putting ideas in here. And you'll notice straight away on the left hand side, Adele's group has shown up for everybody else and we can see what her idea comes up with. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. What I really want to show you though is how you can use the teacher only section to prepare content in advance and then distribute that to each of the student class notebooks. So if I come down to the COVID-19 safety test you'll notice that the topic is very similar to what the brainstorm was about and I want to distribute this as an assessment uh, to check in on how my students are going. So I select the page, I go up to the class notebook menu and I choose distribute page. And the distribute page has quite a lot of power in it. You can distribute to all students or just a subset of students. But you'll notice that the class notebook control kind of folds out from the right hand side here. And I can choose which section I wish to distribute this to. Hopefully I have the assessments area uh, and I can go distribute. And it's going to uh, start pushing that out to all students. And you'll notice it shows the previous works that I've distributed as well, uh, giving me a bit of visibility. And it's told me that's now been complete. So if I return to Adele on the right hand side and I click on assessments, I should see a COVID-19 safety test that's been pushed out here. Brilliant, I do. Uh, given the, her brainstorm has already taken place, she can comfortably fill this out and say, uh, wear a mask, oops, wear a mask, social distance, and wash hands. And in this instance, you know, she has to write a uh, paragraph using statement explain example. That's all there. Now, if I've got a large class as a teacher, I want to be able to quickly review all of the student work. So you'll notice under the class notebook tab, I can go review student work. Now, this is only going to show student work that has been distributed using the distribute page mechanism. So notice if I go to assessments and I click next, because that's where I know the work is that I want to assess. Um, under the assessments tab, I have two tests that I can see I've distributed, uh, but notice this untitled page does not appear. 
that's because that was not a distributed page using the class notebook tools. So if I click on COVID-19 safety test, I now see that I have three students who have a matching page that's been distributed. And by clicking on Al, uh, it takes me to his uh, class notebook and I can see he hasn't actually done any work. I can see Maribel uh, hasn't done any work. And when I click on Adele, I can actually see the work that she has done here, which exactly matches the student notebook on the right, as we would expect. So a key feature of this is the ability to lock this page. So at the end of maybe the lesson or at the end of the assessment period, I can actually say, right, Adele is finished. I'm going to preclude her from doing any further um, work on this. That's her final submission. And you'll notice it has a little lock uh, page appear on here as well. And that will synchronize through to uh, the notebook in question and eventually uh, when she comes back in here it will actually have there it is this page is locked and can't be edited at this time now this is a really great one if you're wanting to ensure integrity of student work that maybe if they're physically working on this in class a bit hard when schools are in lockdown but if they're physically working on it then they leave class you want to ensure that they can't work on this at home and spend a lot of time on it they must do it in class then you could actually lock each of the notebooks uh, in turn and of course you can unlock when it's time to continue working on it uh, by applying the unlock feature there as well so i just want to call that out as a really great feature for managing assessment and remote learning using the onenote class notebook there's so much inside of onenote class notebooks do check out onenote.com heaps of great examples there as well but i trust this has been a helpful idea around collaboration space teacher only section and distributing and reviewing student work using the class notebook tools Thanks very much.